weren't coming on until I last night. I miss you night. so much. I know. LA <laughs> feels your missing presence. Oh, I was, I just loved it. I was, last night I was in bed and I was like, Oh crap! I was like, I didn't know Christy was coming Honestly, on today. Honestly, I didn't I even know Dave was going to be here. Today. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, wait, what are you doing here? Oh, we're doing a show. Now, when did y'all first meet? You've known each other for years, right? Did you bond over food? 2004, 2004. when I first opened my restaurant. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, here. So you were living here. I was living in New York um, when I had first met John, and yeah, I'm 38 now. We don't even talk about 20 years. Yeah. Um, we always hit up Momofuku Noodle Bar. It was right by our house. We lived in East Village. And we went there three, four times a week, and then yeah. I just fell in love with him. That's right. Great food. Well, it's hard not to fall in love with you, especially <laughs> man that cooks so well. Um, but where, where did your love of cooking start? I'll start you with David. I think with my mom. She's yeah. just still was the best cook I've ever met, and that was the only way my family sort of communicated was through food. Never anything else, but oh, yeah. I think that's a, there's some therapy yeah. in the work. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like, I think like, it's like our common Asian bond, though, yeah. too. I, I think um, a lot of my family, at least, there weren't a lot of like, there wasn't a lot of like physical affection, kiss, like kisses and I love yous, but food was so important in our family. And now looking back and having children, I do realize that I'm very, I'm very, I mean, I smother them with love, mm -hmm. but they also yeah. get a ton of great food. I know, I think it's so great when you learn at such a young age how to cook or to be in a mm -hmm. kitchen and how to, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm the opposite, um, <laughs> that you know. Um, but you, you have two boys, do they help in the kitchen now? Uh, yes, four and two, yeah. Hugo and Gus. Taste and test. They, they uh, tell me what to cook. They try to help, and I'm their private chef. And <laughs> no matter what I make, they almost never eat, so it's a problem for me. And that <laughs> actually makes me feel good, because when I yes. do cook, I'm like, do you know how hard this was for me? Like, I don't do this. And I feel like I did a good job and they do not eat it. And I'm like, it makes me feel good that you're an actual chef. And yep. yeah, they just are like hard pass, where's the mac and cheese? Yeah, they want mac and cheese. They want all yeah. shades of brown foods. Beige. Yeah. Yes. My son eats nothing beige but beige. Beige anything, yes. beige yes. anything. Mine, I even, it's gotten to the point where I, I definitely take orders, but I have to actually just, at this point with Miles, I said the other day, he doesn't eat vegetables. And I mean, like, has not, not a carrot stick. It's just like a big my like, son. Fight my son him. will not. Yeah, he's like Thank absolutely you. not. No one wants to admit to that. Yeah. But then, like, I was like, oh no, it goes past that. Like, I can offer him a root beer float. Like, he doesn't want to try that. He doesn't want to. I'm like, please try this Coca Cola. Like, yeah. Why? And then I'm like, why am I being? Why am I trying? It's just no. It's but crazy. my son is the same though. He will I have to sneak it in into a cup that is colorful that you can't tell what the color is, <laughs> and that's how I sneak it in. It's like a juice or a smoothie. He will not do it, that's and he crazy. will smell it out. And be like, this is a vegetable. And he is like hard against it. Yeah. Same. I mean, and it's like, I, I could make him sit there, you know, or whatever, but it just doesn't work. He'll, oh. he'll, he'll sit me out. I he know. Will, he will be like, oh, Remember I'll sit at this we table like, all night long. Before kids, you're like, if they don't eat what I make, then they're going to bed hungry. I'm like, nope, oh, uh, what would you like, sir? Uh, yeah. No, I will say, if my son were here, I have sent him to bed hungry. Because <laughs> usually I'm tired. I'm yes. like, I just did this. Yes. If you didn't like it, that's your problem. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I said, I made exactly what you said, and then whatever. Um, so you, you now have more family members so since many. you've been on the show now. I know. So How is it going? We have is two new wild? little babies. It's yeah. crazy. It's wild. I, I love. It's chaotic, obviously. Yeah. Um, Ren is six. He just turned six months, or sorry, seven months, and Essie just turned a year. And that, you know, the, that oh. small difference is all the is huge yeah. when they're that tiny. Um, and Luna and Miles are just like immersed in activities and so many different things, and everybody's got to at this keep different up with. Stage. As a parent, it's very hard. Oh my God, the Girl Scout stuff. The, yeah. we're in cookie season. You, you it's want like, them to be engaged. That's me yes. too. But then it's just like ha, there's no, no way to feasibly make all no. of these. things. And I ask them. I say, Yeah, what is one activity we should remove? And Miles is always like tennis. He doesn't like tennis because it's too like one on one. He can't get away with any of his bull crap. And then <laughs> uh, with Luna, she's like nothing. And she, this one, she does. Everything. That's my daughter. Same thing. Oh. Um, well, Estee just turned one, and there were some photos from her birthday like this one. Yeah. Oh. You're like, like you, this one. That's the only one. Y'all make the cutest. <laughs> no, y'all make the cutest children ever. They're so yeah. beautiful. Wait, and then there's this one. This one's fun. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was it seems expensive, what was broken. It was immediately after. I honestly don't know because that is a rental home. And so then I realized that they're probably going to see that. Yeah. Um, or they saw it for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, my reflex time, like I used to just like, with Luna, like, oh, I would have I would have caught that in a second. This one, I watched it go boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, and then I just let it happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's having more than one kid. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, it's fine. The worst is how proud she was after. She, she usually like they cry, she like, so oh, strong. I did something. Yeah, she's just, yeah. she's our tough cookie. Um, that, yeah, I get it, girls. <laughs> girls and yes. boys, they're so different. Yes. That was a look at their new show, Christy and Dave Dying Out. You can see it on Freeform and Hulu. So explain the show to everybody. Well, Christy and I have been wanting to do this together for a long time, and we wanted to highlight some of the best restaurants in Los Angeles. and There's So many good ones. So many. Yeah. And have great conversations with very interesting, amazing people. Do you know what? I was actually, I, I was coming from a place of like, there's nowhere good to eat anymore. And then I've, this guy comes up with this incredible list of, and then it opened up my eyes, my palate, my everything to different worlds. Some of the chefs that we got to eat, dine with and speak to completely changed my life, completely changed my outlook. I mean, I'm sure you know, like when it comes to Work and food, when it becomes like your work, you're, it's the passion like can can dull out when you yeah. have four kids. Like, every, but yeah. it reignited my fire for incredible food. Yeah, yeah. and it's, I think that's good too. timing as well, just because I think the you know the industry was hit so hard with COVID, like Absolutely. all those restaurants, so many closed. Like, yeah. you know, so to highlight them is incredible yes. as well. Yeah, we ha you, actually have restaurants that are that are reopening now. Um, because of the show. So yeah. really oh, that's exciting. amazing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. That's yeah. crazy. But they were hit really hard. Yes. Like a lot of great places went out. But how did you pick? There was an initial list of like 100. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't think we could have ever have done it justice. So hopefully there's more seasons so we can cover all the awesome restaurants that we yeah. love so Just put much. it on. You don't have to watch it. Just put it on the television. <laughs> And just like, just get those ready. I'm like, I don't even know how Nielsen works. Uh, but like, I assume you're all Nielsen families. I do too. I don't know how they work either. Every time someone says rating, I'm like, what? I'm like, I don't know. Um, anyway, you had an, the greatest exit at a job that I've heard of. Um, so before being becoming a chef, you worked like an office job. I did. And how did this end, David? Well, I wanted to make sure that I was gonna burn all the bridges so I couldn't go back. <laughs> Well done. And I honestly, I told everyone I was going to go to cooking school, so I had no choice, but huh. I uh, got really drunk at a Christmas party. <laughs> That'll and I do it. Told a lot of people how I thought about the job. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh and amazingly gosh. enough, they didn't ask you back. Yep, not a surprise. <laughs> I know, but I feel like a lot of people, I've heard people exiting jobs like this, and I'm like, that's such a goal. I mean, very oh, few people yeah. are inspired by the movie Office Space, but yeah. I oh certainly Oh my God, was. I love Office oh Space. Oh my gosh, yes, fax machine out the window, yeah. done. Uh, or that traffic scene, even in the very beginning, <laughs> it's so true. You I get know. to the lane and it stops. I Why? Know. <laughs> yes. I know every time. Yes, oh God, what a great movie. Well, I have to say this too, John's birthday was last month. John's greatest gift is you. Because I'm telling you what, this party, first of all, was insane. Like, Feel free looked to text insane. Him no, you. and then also your gift. We couldn't air your gift. Um, <laughs> this is daytime TV, but I saw one of the. Oh! oh my God! It was a It's on a big screen. If you know me too, I. I am not a you're, performer. You're uh, this, not. This That's stage. why you, you seem like you'd be like this person, but you're yeah. not. Like behind the scenes, like you're actually more like reserved. So oh. to see you give a lap dance. In they front of let people, me like, come <laughs> the night before for rehearsal, and they're like, rehearsal? Like it's just a lap dance. Like what are you thinking? And, and I was like, no, no, I need a rehearsal. And uh, and we did it. And had, having to lie to John was so crazy because and that just the. So who who was the rehearsal man? For that? Uh, my Sally Solana. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so she was, I had to lick her face. We, went, we did, we did like the, we did top to bottom rehearsal. Oh my God. And then I had 48 hours to plan it because I didn't, it was Christmas and I didn't realize, I was like, oh my God, he's going to be 45. That's kind of a big deal. And then I love 50 cents. So I figured that he should love 50 cents. <laughs> But he, he really does. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. so that throwback, because John and I have so many memories at the box in New York. Have you been? No. Oh, anyone been old, to the box? Old school. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, guys, you don't know what you're in for, but it is incredible. I think we there. do it's now. So we yeah. Do. yeah. <laughs> that is the kind yeah. of stuff. Not, actually, yeah. that is tame for the box. But, um, oh, well, now I just, that's a tease. Oh, okay. now I just want to go. It was so much fun, and they were so cool, and 50, like, over-delivered, and I completely negotiated myself, like, probably, like, three times the rate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, like, for him to show up? For the thing I, like, yeah, it started out at a low number, and then I took it to, like, a... I'm a bad negotiator. My first words were, I, I want you to feel well compensated. 
<laughs> You're the same. I'm not good at that. I have to have no. other people make those calls. No, yeah, I was on yeah. it. I had, I got high. Like, your price. Yeah. yeah, we're the worst. Okay, um, <laughs> we have a food game next. Cause why not? Okay, are you down for a food game next? Very down. You're gonna have to play anyway. But cool. <laughs> so let's do another commercial break. Chrissy and Dave Dine Out is on Freeform and Hulu. Check it out, y'all. We'll be right back.